In this video, we will look at two examples of determining percentiles of a uniform distribution. Our problems are based upon the data shown below, which are 55 smiling times in seconds of an eight-week-old baby. We will assume the smiling times in seconds follow a uniform distribution between 0 and 23 seconds inclusive. This means that all smiling times from 0 to and including 23 seconds is equally likely and therefore matches the theoretical uniform distribution. We will let the random variable x equal the length in seconds of an eight week old baby's smile where the minimum value is zero and the maximum value is 23. And therefore the probability density function is equal to f of x equals one divided by the quantity 23 minus zero which gives f of x equals 1 23rd which is graphed below. And now going to our two examples we're first asked to find the 90th percentile for an eight-week-old baby smile. This is the smiling time where 90% of the smiling times will be less than or equal to that smiling time. So if we take a look at the graph on the right, there's some smile time, let's call it K, let's say approximately here. So we will call this smiling time K, where 90% of the other smiling times are less than or equal to this smiling time, which also means the area under the curve to the left of K, this area here, must be equal to 0 0.9. So we can say the probability, so we can say the probability that X is less than K must equal the area of the red rectangle, which is 0 0.9. And we know the area of a rectangle is equal to the base times the height, where in this case we can see the base has a length of K units over what we can say it's k minus zero, and the height is equal to the function value of 1 23rd, and therefore the area of the red rectangle is equal to k times 1 3rd, and this must equal 0 0.9. And now to find the 90th percentile, we simply solve for k. Distributing 1 23rd, we have 1 23rd k minus zero is equal to 0 0.9, and now to solve for k, we multiply both sides by 23. Simplifying, we have k equals 0 0.9 times 23, which is equal to 20.7. So now we know the 90th percentile is 20.7 seconds. which means 90% of the smiling times are less than or equal to 20.7 seconds. Next, what time length in seconds is 25% of the longest smile times for an eight week old baby smile at or above? So again, let's go ahead and model this using the graph. There's some smiling time K, let's say approximately here, where 25% of the longest smiling times are greater than or equal to K and therefore the area to the right of k under the probability density function, this area here, must equal 0 0.25. But this also means the area to the left, this area in green, must be equal to 0 0.75. And that's important to recognize because it also tells us this k is the 75th percentile of the smiling times. So we can set this up two ways. We can set up a probability using the greater than inequality symbol and set it equal to the area of the red rectangle, or we can use the less than inequality symbol and set the probability equal to the area of the green rectangle. It'll be easier to set it up using the green rectangle because then the length of the base is equal to just k units. If we use a red rectangle, the base is gonna be equal to 23 minus k. So I'll show both setups but we'll solve it using the green rectangle. Using the green rectangle, we'd have the probability that x is less than k is equal to 0 0.75. Using the red rectangle, we'd have the probability that x is greater than k is equal to 0 0.25. Let's show one more step on both. The area of the green rectangle is going to be equal to k minus zero times 1 23rd.
which you know is equal to 0 0.75, or using the red rectangle, the base is equal to 23 minus k, and the height is equal to 1 23rd, and this is equal to 0 0.25. So we would get the same solution for k in both equations. I'm gonna go ahead and finish using this first equation because it's easier to solve. Distributing 1 23rd, we have 1 23rd k is equal to 0 0.75. Again, to solve for k, we multiply both sides by 23. Simplifying, we have k is equal to 0 0.75 times 23 is equal to 17.25. And again, we would get the same result solving this equation here for k. Now that we know k, we know that 25% of the smiling times are at or above 17.25 seconds. I hope you found this helpful.